On today's BFD, we're looking at a documentary that explores the dangers of video game addiction. Documentaries give us a chance to explore the lives of others and help us to better understand the world we live in. But what if those people don't really live in our world? What if they prefer a virtual one? Filmmaker Juan Carlos Pinheiro Escoriaza followed a group of gamers for several years, playing World of Warcraft, EverQuest, and Second Life. What he found was pretty interesting. For some people, it's just a game. For these people, it was their life. Juan, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. What about this subject made you want to turn it into a documentary? Second Skin is a documentary about online role-playing games, such as EverQuest, World of Warcraft, Second Life, and goes into what it is to live inside the virtual space. We are constantly trying to find ways to bring in aspects of MMOs into real life. We're doing it every single day with our apps. Absolutely everything we do is to commodify and gamify the universe around us so that we can live within that alternate space naturally. Can you tell us about some of the people that you followed? So we followed a few different groups of people. The guys from Indiana, a group of four guys who live together, game together, and then sort of have this coming of age. And they have to sort of understand who they are, how to balance their lives in the real world and the virtual world. Mm -hmm. The second story is of Heather Cohen and Kevin Keel, who are two star-crossed lovers <laughs> from the online world. They met in EverQuest 2 and had never met each other in real life and said, I love you online. The third story is of Dan Bustard, who I found at a Olganon, which is Online Gamers Anonymous. Another one of my favorite characters was the disabled gamer who is playing Second Life. Mm -hmm. For someone who is disabled, it really allows you to be in a way that never could be a reality here, where lots of times you essentially are being taken care of for a myriad of reasons. And in the online world, especially for Andy and for people who are disabled, that ability to succeed and find and achieve is unique and powerful. So there's been a lot of news here lately revolving around violence in video games, and they sort of kind of get a bad reputation sometimes. What do you have to say to those people who are like, damn with the video games? We culturally sort of gravitate to say something's bad or something has like this negative connotation. You know, rock and roll is bad or television, <laughs> violence in television is terrible and that's why things are bad. And then, you know, now video games also becomes a part of that conversation. Violence in video games, that's why people did something wrong. Realistically, that's just completely untrue. The movie that I made really talks about the benefits of why these worlds exist. Let's look at the virtual world. Let's see what this is about because we're all going to be living in it and we all are living in it and we're going to continue living in it. What do we want to do next? What do we want to think about? What are the next steps as a society? What's that conversation? Because we should be having it. We should be learning about it. We should be thinking about the ethics of what we're creating now so that in the future, we're creating the things that we want to create. Well, thank you so much, Juan. It was an absolute pleasure. Huge fan of the film. And you guys should be too. We have a link in the description below. Check out Second Skin, it's really interesting. Also, join us in the fight to end hunger and watch A Place at the Table, which is out right now. For BFD, I'm Marisha Ray, and definitely send us in your comments. We wanna hear them. See you next time. <laughs>